One small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. Well, hey guys, welcome to Nice. I'm your host Peter, and today we'll be discussing National Moon Day. On July 20th, 1969, three astronauts traveled 240,000 miles away from the Earth to the moon. These men were Michael Collins, Buzz Aldrin, and of course, Neil Armstrong. Millions have witnessed that historic day as Neil Armstrong was the first human to ever set foot on the moon. On May 25th, 1961, the Soviet Union launched the first ever satellite in orbit and put the first human in space. John F. Kennedy didn't want to leave America behind, so he created a special joint session of Congress. He believed that landing a man on the moon and returning him safely was a goal that America should achieve before 1970. Five years later, in 1966, the international team of scientists and engineers at the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, also known as NASA, created the first Apollo missions where they first tested to land on the moon. In October 1968, NASA launched Apollo 7, the first mission involving a human crew. Then later that year, in December, NASA launched Apollo 8, which brought the astronauts to the dark side of the moon. The next year in March, Apollo 9 tested the first lunar landing on Earth. Apollo 10 took the same three astronauts, took them around the moon, and then back to Earth. Apollo 11 sent Neil Armstrong to the moon, where he made the first giant leap for humanity. As the United States celebrates the historic landing of humans on the moon, astronomers are getting out their telescopes this month to see the full moon and nearby planets, including Mars, which will be the brightest in 15 years, and Jupiter, with its newly confirmed 79 moons. Possible destinations for future space missions. And who knows, the first human there could be you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. If you want to learn more about the moon and outer space, come check out the Search for Life exhibit here at the New York Hall of Science.